Hello friends, this is Music Man from his man cave, and yes, it is time. I see you've constructed a new lightsaber, J.J. Abrams. Your studies are complete. How do these things work anyway? Okay, let's talk about Star Wars The Force, ah, Force Awakens right now. Okay, like coming at you. Star Wars, nothing but Star Wars, nothing but Star Wars, Ray Finn and Kylo Ren. Oh yeah. I like the smell of fresh limbs chopped off. Yes, I can feel the force. Had enough fun with that thing. Anyways, Star Wars The Force Awakens. I mean, The Force Awakens. Um, J.J. Abrams reboot. He also did a reboot of Star Trek, if you remember. And I liked them. I liked the reboots of Star Trek. They were fun. They were interesting. They had twists and turns and action and Spock and Captain Kirk and alternate realities if you remember all that and here we now we have Star Wars The Force Awakens and it is some new characters introduced to um, very much a, a, a New Hope, Empire Strikes Back, Return of the Jedi kinda garbled into one. It's familiar territory but it is a wondrous movie. The special effects are top-notch um, I like um, uh, Daisy Ridley uh, I think that she is uh, really going to do well. I'm not going to give an attempt to pronounce some of the other actors and actresses' name. Uh, she's the one that was kind of the star of the movie. I liked BB-8. He is a fun new droid to be put aside R2-D2. So the movie was a lot of fun for me. It was very nostalgic. It, it, it uh, is a space opera, so it has you wondering, who are these people? Why are they in this story? Who's Ray? And people are already speculating, and the prognosticators are prognosticators are prognosticating who Ray is. Is she Luke's daughter? Is she uh, Kylo Ren? Ben's. There are spoilers. You need to know. I'm going to have some spoilers in here. If you haven't seen the movie by now, go see the movie, and then come back and listen to me. Go see the movie right now. Stop it. And then you talk to me, because I'm going to put some spoilers in here. So, we have Kylo Ren, Ben Solo who Luke failed, and he turned to the dark side. Some new f phantom named Snoke, or Pla Lord Plagueis, or a clone of the Emperor. We don't know who this guy is. People are speculating, and uh, they're speculating who's Ra who Rey belongs to. Is she Luke's daughter? Is she a twin of Kylo Ren? We don't care. You shouldn't care. It's a comic book. The only problem I have with Star Wars is what I've always had with Star Wars. What I had the problem with Empire Strikes Back. Okay, here's the movie. We end it. And you're wondering, what's going on? Who are these people? Why are they important? We're just It's like a comic book. Or a graphic novel for you adults. Um, so I think, think the movie is a superior work. Um, I think it's really good. Now, do we get any original ideas like uh, George Lucas tried in... Um, a Phantom Menace and Attack of the Clones and, uh, you know, Revenge of the Sith. Is there anything original here? No. Not much. I mean, if there is, tell me down below what you thought was original. And I'll see if I think I don't thought it was original or not. I thought I was really in familiar territory here. Okay, you have your little Yoda character, except time, this time she's a she. Or he's a she. Yeah, that's it. Uh, you have your Han Solo, Finn. Uh, you have your Obi-Wan Kenobi, Han Solo. You have your Luke Skywalker, Rey. You have your character set into place. Um, you have a girl that, um, uh, spoilers, is very Force-sensitive. She is just a natural. She picks up a lightsaber and is wielding it against a guy that's had training from Luke. And because of the Force, uh, she stands her ground with him. I mean, uh, and people say, how's that? Well, so uh, Star Wars The Force Awakens, I really enjoyed it. 
I uh, thought it was really good. Uh, of course, I enjoyed Phantom Menace for what it was. It was new territory. We got to see Naboo, a beautiful planet with uh, beautiful cathedral-type buildings with skyscrapers or uh, with uh, waterfalls. We got to see Coruscant, an entire planet that's a city. We got to see um, also uh, other planets that we had not, never really even knew they existed in the solar system, you know, and you can name them. We got to see in Attack of the Clones a water city, all of water, with cloners there. We got to uh, visit a, 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 a kind of some kind of bug planet where there's all these bugs flying around and they have a big desert amphitheater. And uh, We got to see Yoda have a showdown with the Force with uh, the Emperor and with, uh, um, uh, what, what's his name, Count Dooku. So the, there was a lot of, um, I like I like the entire Star Star Wars universe. I, I like all the creatures and I like the places and the setup. Now I felt here Jakku Tatooine. Um, I felt here uh, the base looked exactly the same as it did in A New Hope. There's a new Death Star. This time it's called a Star Killer. It sucks energy from the sun and, and obliterates five planets at a time. So they just got a bigger gun. I still feel like, though, it's a great Saturday matinee western. World War II movie with swords, Zorro, with Tarzan, with the stuff you love. Indiana Jones thrown in and all that rigmarole. Um, it's fun. I sat there and wonder. I went to it a few times before I gave this review. And I have to say that it is an enjoyable romp. I believe it's a superior rating. And I'm just going to give my the, complete my analysis of the movie. I'm going to say I hope that Ray is not Luke's daughter. Too cliche. I hope that Ray is not Kylo Ren's twin sister. But I do know because of the Force and Luke that this is the next two movies are going to be about the redemption of Ben Solo. Uh, no, there's not going to be a big showdown where they chop Ben up into little pieces and feed him to the dogs. Uh, Star Wars has always been about the Skywalker family, and it's been about redemption, and I like that. And it's been about the Force, uh, which is kind of a equivalent to the Holy Spirit kind of thing. Um, I like it. I, I enjoyed the movie immensely. I will add it to my collection when it comes out on Blu-ray. J.J. Abrams, kudos to you. That was very well done. Um, the other little thing is I wish... Uh, I did, you didn't get a great score like you got in The Phantom Menace from John Williams. We don't know what we're singing, but it sings Latin. You, you don't get that here. Um, you, you get a, a score and it's non-obtrusive. You still have the original themes, you know. But, uh, Star Wars is Star Wars. It's a pop culture phenomenon. Uh, this movie fits very well into that universe. I enjoyed it. I enjoyed Phantom Menace for what it had. I enjoyed Attack of the Clones. Probably my least favorite. My daughter's favorite is Attack of the Clones. Revenge of the Sith, too depressing. You realize the arrogance and mistakes made by the Jedi that uh, could have avoided this entire thing from happening, but it was all destiny, right? I didn't like the way that uh, Obi-Wan had to chop chop up Anakin into little pieces. I wish they, they could have done that better. And I would have liked the showdowns uh, between Anakin and Ben and the showdown uh, to be more Force-sensitive. Not as much lightsaber fighting, but using the Force more, throwing objects at each other and and the levitating with the force, you know, over the lava instead of standing on something and stuff like that. Um, so, um, I, I like all the Star Wars movies for what they bring. I have my favorite moments in each, and I have my stuff that's a snooze um, in each one. Even in Empire Strikes Back, when I first saw it in my teens, I actually was kind of disappointed in Yoda being a Jedi Master. Because he was obviously Frank Oz and a puppet. But he's grown, over me, grown on over me over the years. When I first watched Phantom Menace a couple of times, I liked Jar Jar Binks. Um, and he grew on me. And there's a theory that he was going to be uh, a, a puppet of the Emperor to move him into power. And But uh, George Lucas, he was so hated 
But guess what is the number one character of kids 4 to like 11, 12 years old? Is it B B8? Probably now, but it's Jar Jar Binks. So Jar Jar Binks wasn't for adults. Phantom Menace really wasn't for adults. It was more a graphic novel for kids. And Attack of the Clones went into some dark territory. And then I felt that Revenge of the Sith was really an adult film. And I didn't like how quickly Anakin turned to the dark side. He went from one moment telling who the dark Sith Lord was to the next moment killing children. And don't call them younglings. That's disgusting. Anyway, Star Wars Awakens, discuss with me. I thought it was a success. Six, six, six success. Um, I think that was fun. It's a great action romp. If you haven't seen it, and I've spoiled everything for you, um, go see it anyway. Uh, anyway, Music Man checking out. And, oh, I love this baby. These things are so cool. So realistic. Anyway, just to finish my little thing here, I'll say, warm up, ma ma ma. Star Wars, nothing but Star Wars, nothing but. Ah! That really burns! Star Wars, Star Wars for me. Take care, see ya.